Why, hello there, everybody. My name is Reese, and welcome to the best Pokemon game of all time. Hands down. If you say anything different, get out of my house. Gibby. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, um, new game. So, yeah, I'll be doing a Let's Play of Pokemon Emerald. And I'm actually extremely excited because this game is fucking fantastic. And even if it's not your favorite Pokemon game, you have to say, like, this is a pretty good game. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. <laughs> This is what we call a Pokemon. That's an ugly ass Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside the Pokemon at times as friendly playmates and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. Okay, so this is just tells you about Pokemon. I take you already know about Pokemon because you clicked on this game. If you don't, then let me click on this video. But if you don't, then whatever. I'm a guy, but I'm gonna play a girl for this just because. All right, what's your name? My name is Razzle Frazzle. Can I type that? No, I can't type Razzle Frazzle. And then it all capital, so it's like, instead of Rizzle, it's like, RIZZLE! I'm sorry, that was probably really loud. I'm sorry, guys. Rizzle. So it's Rizzle? Hell yeah, it's Rizzle. Ah, hey, okay. Yo, RIZZLE! Who's moving to my hometown of Little Root? I get it now. I don't know. He kind of told me that. I didn't really know. So yeah, you start the game pretty fast and um, yeah it's pretty cool I love how it starts all cool like that and like because that's May I guess and it turns into that it's like oh that's looks exactly the same as I expected yep totally okay another question here why the fuck am I in the back of the moving van like why what's with that so now we're in Little Root this place is great it's nice and quiet mom we're all we're here honey it must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck well this is Little Root Town how do you like it? This is our new home. It is a quaint feel. And you get your own room. Rizzle! Let's go inside. I'd love to. Thanks, Mom. See, Rizzle? I mean, Rizzle! Isn't it nice in here, too? They hired, like, moving Pokemon. And I don't know why I find that so sad. Because they have Pokemon to move your shit. Like, do they have any choice in this? Doesn't look like it. So you have to set the clock for some reason. I, I don't think I'm going to set it because I'm on emulator, so it doesn't really matter. But, whatever. Mom! Rizzle! <laughs> I need to stop, I'm sorry. I'll stop screaming my name. Yo, you should make sure that everything is on your desk. Okay, let's make sure everything's on my desk. Rizzle flipped open the notebook. Adventure rule number one. Open the menu with start! Adventure rule number two! Record your progress with save! Remaining pages are blank. Wow, that's really sad. You're a lame diary, Rizzle. Oh, Rizzle! Rizzle! Quick, come quickly! Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'm done. Look, it's Pedalberg Gym. Maybe Dad will be there. Interviewer, we borrow you this report from in front of the Pedalberg Gym. Mom, oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but he missed him too bad. Oh, yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Precious Birch is his name. Um, yeah, we're gonna go next door, and we're gonna meet... Oh, shit, what's his name? We'll find out in the next episode. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We've only been recording for, like, three minutes. Oh, you're Rizzle, our new next-door neighbor. Hi! We have a son about the same age as you. Our son is excited about making a new friend. Our son is upstairs, I think. Oh. Yeah, let's touch his balls. Oh, that gets his attention. <laughs> hey, you! Who are you? Oh, you're Rizzle, aren't you? Moved in next door, right? I didn't know that you're a girl. Rude. Dad, Professor Birch said that you are... That, that our new next-door neighbor is a gym leader's kid, so I assumed you'd be a guy. Rude?! My name's Brendan. Oh, it's Brendan. I don't like that name. His real name should be, like, Douche Nozzle. I wish you could name your rival, but you can't in this game. He's sad. He just goes on his computer like a lame-o. Except that's what I do with my life. <laughs> and now that we've talked to Douche Nozzle, that's his new name, we're gonna go over here and the kid's like, Um, hi. There's scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you see what's happening for me? See, I don't have any Pokemon either. But because I'm a good kid, I check what's happening. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you okay? Are you okay? Hello! You over there! Please, help! In my bag! There's a Pokemon! <laughs> I don't know why the game constantly yells. And I'm picking Mudkip because everyone knows Mudkip is the best. Tortrix sucks and Trico looks like an idiot. Mm, 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 mm. So this is a Zigzagoon. Zigzagoons are cool. Wild Zigzagoon appeared. Thanks for telling me. Go Mudkip! Tackle. Mudkip used Tackle. Wow! It took away nearly half his health. That's sad. I mean, he has only level 2. 
Why didn't Professor Birch just like kick him? My attack missed. What the fuck? Wow, so is he gonna take two away? Oh no, this time it took three. Ooh, much confused tackle. Wow. Oh my god, there's a little tiny bit left. Oh no, my attack fell. Ooh, that's super scary. Good thing I don't need very much attack to kill you. And I beat the first wild fight. So I need to take a swig of monster there. Professor Birch. Wow! I was in the tall grass in a wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Rizzle. I was going to scream it, but I didn't. You're welcome. This is not the place to chat. So come to my Pokemon lab. I can't speak. Professor Birch. So, Rizzle, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your any own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plume. What? I guess you have your brother. I can't, I'm just going to stop. I can't read, apparently. It looks like you have your brother's father. I don't know what I was trying to say. It's your father's blood. Dumbass. I was talking to myself. I'm going to name Mudkip. What should I name Mudkip? Big bitch. That's my Mudkip's name. I'm probably going to regret that. If you work at your Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid Brendan is also studying your Pokemon while helping me out. Rizzle, don't you think it might be a good idea to see Brendan? No. <laughs> oh, don't be that way. You should meet my kid. No. Oh, okay. He just keeps repeating. I thought he was going to be like, Yo, motherfucker. See my motherfucking kid. He's nice. He's not, though. He's a douche nozzle. He was being, like, sexist and shit. I don't like him. He's mean. I'm not sexist. I like all sexes. All kinds of sex. <laughs> So, now we're in Route 101. Just like Zoe 101. That was a great show. Did you guys like Zoe 101? I kind of liked it. I didn't like how that one guy had, like, a huge crush on Zoe. I mean, I liked it, and I kind of shipped him. But then I was, like, eight, so I was like, Ew, kissing! Just kidding, I always wanted a girlfriend, but I never have him. <laughs> oh, no, I'm in the battle. Oh, so a Pushyana. He's like, Rah. I can't see my hair. Go, big bitch! Tackle! Well, Pushyana used Tackle. Oh, my character's hair. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. I thought you were talking about my hair. <laughs> well, Pushyana used Tackle. I'm probably just going to skip all these battles. So, believe it or not, I actually beat the Pushyana. My god, it was a close fight, guys. I'm actually going to go heal my Pokemon. Or else I might die. Big Bitch, good level 6. I'm going to regret this. Naming my character Big Bitch. I was thinking about like being a serious let's play where I was like really into it, name my character good things. Nah. Fuck that. Games are more fun when you screw it all up. Anyways, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon. I will be right back when I get back up there. And we're back, and if you look up there, we see Douche Nozzle, and we're in another random battle. Wow! <coughs> and we go talk to Douche Nozzle. Brennan, okay, so this is the one that made the Bam 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 Bam. Oh yeah, Dad gave you a Pokemon. Since we're here, how about a little battle? I'll teach you what being a trainer is about. <coughs> 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 Sorry, I drank up a monster and I'm dying. Trainer Brendan would like to battle. Trainer Brendan sent out Trico. Also known as the lamest Pokemon. I mean, what? What will Big Bitch do? Um, I'll tackle. No, not Pound. Stop. <laughs> Fellow Trico used Pound. Big bitch, use tackle. Wait, it's mud slap? Yeah, mud slap. Faux trigger used leer. Oh no, oh no. Big bitch, use mud slap. Oh, oh that did nothing. <laughs> oh no, I fucked it up. Faux trigger's accuracy fell, that's good. Tackle. Faux trigger used pound. Faux trigger's attack missed. That's what I used mud slap for, so his attack would miss. Told you, I have good strategizing skills. Tackle. Sweet, so I just won this battle, if you can't tell. And boom, Trico is dead. Not dead, he f he fainted. I didn't kill him. I'm not a, that bad of a person, I think. <laughs> Big Bridge, good to level 7. Sweet, I'm already level 7. I was like level 5 at the start of this episode. I wonder if I'll beat the first gym in this episode. Probably. I mean, the first gym is pretty easy to get to in this game. Look, your Pokemon already likes you, even though you just got it. Rizzle, I got the feeling that you would best be... Fuck, I need to stop. So, I can't wait to get the running boots, because that just makes this game so much better. Because when you just walk around all, like, slow and lame, it sucks. Just sucks. But, when you know, when you have the running boots, it's super sweet. Oh, shut up, douche nozzle. You should hustle back, too, Rizzle. I will hustle back. So that I've been doing, douche nozzle. So I'm calling him from now on. I'm going to stick to my word. His name is douche nozzle. 
Okay, we can go down here. We're gonna talk to Professor Birch again, and he's gonna be all like, "Yo, n I'm gonna give you a Pokedex." I don't know if I ever used a Pokedex in this game. I don't play Pokemon like most people. I'm not like intricate. Catch every Pokemon that looks cool. No. Well, fuck that. I got to like the fourth gym, and all I had was Mudkip. I mean, of course, through the rest of the game, I was totally fucked. But I mean, I did because I just didn't care. Huh? So you got a Pokedex too? Well, then here, take these. Bro, douche nozzles. Not that mean. He gave me a. Some Pokeballs. That's nice. I'm gonna explore all the places to find different Pokemon. If I find any cool Pokemon, maybe I'll try to get them with Pokeballs. Cool! I <laughs> don't care! Okay. Yep. Do. Oh, this music's so nice. Wait! Rizzle! What? Rizzle, Rizzle! Did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what a durable Pokemon. Okay, I don't really care. Just give me the fucking boots, Mom. At least this isn't silver where you have to give your mom money. That was dumb. Step on these running shoes and race it. Diddly diddly do. You think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. I really don't care, Mom. Now I can run, see? <laughs> That's what I imagine May is going through. I mean, Rizzle. I'm just going to keep calling her May, even though her name is Rizzle in this game. Or, I named her Rizzle. And we go through our first trainer battle. I mean, our second, but our first, like, kind of real trainer battle. How does he know I have a Pokemon already? I find that kind of weird. Oh, it's a little kid. Hey, youngster Calvin. Youngster Calvin sent out Pustiana. Go, big bitch. Mm-hmm. Tackle. Big bitch, use tackle. Full Pustiana used howl. Oh, no, not howling. Am I the only person that finds howling really cute when dogs do it? I don't know about you, but I find it really cute. So she wants like little baby dogs and they're like, ooh. That's cute. <laughs> Just like you, winks. And I believe Pushian is dead. Not dead, fainted. I keep using the word dead. But I'm going to keep using it for the end of eternity. Because I'm a mean man. Mean, mean man. Big bitch gained 58 experience points. Player defeated. Young Star Calvin. Alright, I lost. I should have trained more. Cool. <laughs> okay, let's skip this trainer battle. Because I don't like trainer battles. They annoy me. Oh, no. I'm just going to run. I don't like battling. At least this early in the game. It's kind of pointless. So, I'm not actually going to catch any Pokemon, at least for a bit, until I get to, um, Rustboro, I believe it's called. I'm going to get an Orenberry, though. That'd be nice. You found two Orenberries. Wait, did I pick the Orenberries? Hell yeah. Where's the put away the two Orenberries in his berries bucket? <laughs> okay, sweet. Now I'm in Petalburg. And this is actually where your dad's gym is, and you're thinking, like, sweet, the first gym already? Because that's what I thought. But no, it's not at all. I'm just gonna heal my Pokemon, lame as fuck, and I, I don't know, it's just dumb, honestly. But then you go out of the thing, and it's like, wow, cool, cool, man. Wait, did I even need to? Yeah, I did. And then you go up into here, and you're like, yeah, first gym! But it's not your first gym. Your dad's like, hmm, what if it doesn't rizzle? So you're finishing moving in? I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm, and I guess you're gonna become a trainer, Rizzle. That's great news. And then this annoying little shit comes in, he's like, Um, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please, Dad. Hmm, oh, uh, right. You're Wally, right? Wally. I'm going to go stay with my relatives in Verdanturf. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I want to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. So your dad's like, Yeah, I'm just gonna, like, turn this into a little lesson for my child on how to catch Pokemon, too. Yep, definitely the best idea. And I think I'm actually gonna skip this part, because it's extremely friggin' boring. And there's no point in showing it to you guys, so I'll see you on the flip side. It's literally an automated fight. Like, I don't have to do anything. I'm playing with a ball right now. And we're finished with that awful thing. And we can run again. So we're not in pedal work for very long. And then this awesome guy. I don't know why I love him so much. Maybe it's his, like, deal with the glasses that he's wearing. But that's Scott. He's pretty cool. And he follows around kids that are really good at fighting with Pokemon. He's a little bit creepy. Also, can I quickly talk about how freaking great the reflections are in this game? I don't know why I love it so much. It's just kind of great. Oh my god, I thought that was a trainer. I was like... It's <laughs> not a trainer, though. That's not a trainer, either. I don't know what I'm freaking out about. Oh, yes, more orange berries. Plus, you found two orange berries. Where's a pick? Two orange berries. Thanks, motherfucker. So, I'll turn to a soft state. Doodly -doo -doo. I skipped that trainer, too. It's so easy to skip trainers. Okay, the music in this game, or in this level, is kind of creepy. Okay, you, I think you have to fight him, yeah. 
So this one's annoying because he's the bug type. And I mean, <laughs> he's not that bad, but it just takes a while. Because you can beat all those Pokemon really freaking easily, but it just takes for fucking ever to get through. And it's annoying, so. Full Wurmple. So, I leveled up twice in this fight, if that gives you any example of how stupidly long this fight is. The other thing is, I didn't look at the screen once, I just mashed the A button. That's how easy it is. So it's just boring and lame. Brrr, I'm in a random battle. Oh no, I hate random battles. Not as much as I hate random battles in Final Fantasy VII. That shit is bullshit. Let's be honest here. Sexy. <laughs> Run from the Pooshiana. Is it meant to be like a play on words for like pooch and like... Anna, Pooch and Hyena? That makes sense, man. Pooch and Hyena. Oh my god, look at Spiky come. That's a joke you guys don't even get. <laughs> okay, so we keep going through this forest. Don't walk through that grass. Don't be an idiot. And then this guy's like, Hmm, let's just, hmm, not one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shremus Randy? He's also an old smoker lady, as well as a curious George. I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Yeah, yeah. You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me, please. You expect some, like, ten-year-old boy to, like, go up against this, like, old man. I don't understand this game sometimes. Come on, and battle me. Team Aqua Symbol is awesome. Dun, 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 dun. Team Aqua Grunt would like to battle. Team Aqua Grunt sent out Pushiana. Go, big bitch! <laughs> I can't believe I named him big bitch. Okay, all of them need to be like big bitch, small bitch, little bitch, cool bitch, strong ass bitch. I don't think I can fit that. Pushiana is. <laughs> That's what he used. That's what Howling is in real life, guys. I forgot to tell you. Full Pushiana used Tacros. I would skip this, but it's kind of like a main fight in the game. I mean, it's still lame, but. I mean, it's it's cool. That's cool, you know. Oh no, my attack missed. Full pushy on you, stand attack. It's more like you just like shit all over me. That was gross. My accuracy fell. I better not miss again. Okay, I didn't. We coo, guys. We coo. Good. Pushy on his attack missed. My attack better miss. Oh, I missed. That was honestly kind of to be expected. Oh no, is my accuracy gonna fall? No, his attack rose. Okay, cool, cool. Tackle, and I win the battle. I don't know why this guy only had one fucking Pokemon on him. It seemed kind of like anti... I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. Moronic. It just seemed moronic. <laughs> oh no, I dropped the ball. <laughs> Player defeated the Aquagon! Um, that's... I'm, I'm cool, aren't I? Grr, you got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come on and battle me again. Wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we have Team Aqua also something in Restboro. Anyways, that was that. Whew, that was awfully close. Thank you, he didn't rob me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I obtained a Great Ball. What can I get Get with that? Probably just an Abra, that's it. I'm probably going to catch an Abra. They look really cool, I like Abras. Ah! <laughs> I learned Water Gun. This is a good day. Okay, Water Gun is the most overpowered move in the entire game. So if I had faster speed than this, then I can probably beat him in one hit. Let's Let's do this. Big Bish, use Water Gun. And, let's see if it kills him one hit. Yep, one hit. I uh, won this, and throughout like half of it, I had two health, so... I'm a cool bitch. Big Bish used... Gained, not used 82 experience points. Oh, Reese. I nearly went up two levels on this one, too. Rizzo got $96 for winning. What are they called? Is it like Pokebucks? Okay, so I actually got out of Petalburg City before... Or, Petalburg City. Oh, I'm in a train battle... Oh, sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. I never challenged him. Last Halley would like to battle. Last Halley. Send out Lotad. Oh my god, Lotad is the most ugly fucking po And I'm dead. I died in a trainer battle. Okay, I skipped the battle this time. So the reason why I don't get any Pokemon in this part is because normally these things attack you, but if you don't have two Pokemon, it can't attack you because there's two of them there. And now I am in Rustboro City. So I'm going to quickly heal my Pokemon and then, damn, enter the gym. And we're going to be entering the first gym of the game. So if you guys don't know, you can skip every single person in this gym that would attack you normally. 
just by walking around them like that, and then I fight Roxanne. So being that I'm a water type, I just destroy in this gym because it's rock type. And I destroy in most gyms, actually, because of the fact that I'm water type, which is why I love Mudkip so much. He's so overpowered. But that's cool. Um, see Geodude, right? And you're thinking like, oh, no, not Geodude. He's kind of strong and cool looking. And then you click Water Gun, and it's like, big bitch, use Water Gun. And I hit him, and would you look at that? He's dead in one hit. <laughs> yeah, it's super effective. Fo so, Geodude, I gained 220 points. Big bitch, go to level 12. Wow. There's another Geodude. She's probably like, oh, fuck, I am so screwed right now. Water Gun. That's right. But the next one isn't as easy as that, but it's not hard, per se. Um, I'm level 13 now. Sweet. This is a good day. Um, the next one, I can't remember what it is. Nose Pass. Nose Pass isn't hard, but not extremely easy either. So we're going to use Water Gun. He used Block. Big Bitch can't escape now. That, that, that doesn't do anything to me, because it's a trainer battle. Okay, it's super effective. Now if I use keep using Water Gun, he was hardened. Which sucks, because that just means that I... I don't know, it's for yeah, Defense Rose, so that means that when I hit him, he doesn't lose as much health. Hopefully it's a critical, though. It's super effective, okay. Oh, what god, what's he doing? Orin Barrier Sword Health. Oh, that's fine. Oh, his nose pass to use Tackle. That's whatever. Water gun. Plus, if I can win this in one go, that would be fantastic. Well, use fast use tackle. I'm not too worried, because I have a pretty high lead on him right now. But as far as I can tell, he could. Um, Roxanne could use a potion. Leader Roxanne use potion. Yes. Ah, fuck, I hate the potions. I mean, I can't really do very much about it, but I still dislike it. It's super effective. Just one more hit is all I need. Oh, really? Another potion? <sighs> whatever, whatever, let's just keep going. We got this, guys, we got this. So I hit him, halfway through, it's super effective. Water gun, phone use, pass use, tackle. As long as I don't get, pat, like, below, number, like, 10 health, um, I should be K. Okay. It's super effective. Mud yes, okay, we're good. And I'm pretty sure I'll kill him right here. Is As long as everything goes my way. Yes, it did. So that is the first gym. I will wait for the shit to do its thing. I should be level 4 or 15 actually after this. If all goes well. Oh no, never mind. Player defeated, leader Roxanne. So I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state the trainers are to be given this. If they defeat a gym leader, please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. I got a stone badge because I'm so stone, dude. Rizzle received a stone badge from Roxanne. Awesome. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. It was a little bit long. Um, I'm sure I'll cut it down a little bit, but. It'll still be like a 35 minute video, maybe 30, 20 ish. That's a long video. I'm sorry. Most episodes won't be like this. I just wanted to beat the first gym in this episode, just because why not, right? Okay, whatever. I don't care about the TMs. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I have been Reese. So you've been viewing. If you enjoyed the video, like the video. And if you really enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. That'd be quite cool. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Goodbye.